Mark Stein is an author and columnist. He joins us tonight. Mark, I want to talk to you because I know that you're an internationally renowned connoisseur of irony. <laughs> and so how are you responding to this story which was designed to prove collusion between Republicans and Russia and is now proving the opposite? Yes, because Trump is in the weird position. Uh, he says wacky things from time to time, as we all know, but nothing he says is as wacky as the truth here. This is like one of those uh, slightly uh, over high concept thrillers. Uh, Agatha Christie's murder on the Siberian Express. Everyone is colluding with Russia except Trump. Basically, you've, you, you've, you, you've got the Podesta group, you've got the, the Hillary campaign, you've got the DNC, you've got the FBI, you've got Christopher Steele, who, who you credit as an XMI6 agent. He's not the, uh, just any old ex-MI6 agent. He's the head of the Russia desk at MI6, which is a pretty big deal. And you, you were talking about campaign finance laws uh, preventing you uh, paying foreign nationals uh, for federal election campaigns. Whatever the scope of those laws, the core people they were designed to prevent getting a hand in American elections were elite, high-level <coughs> espionage agents right. From foreign powers, so we have an in, we have a completely uh, and and by the way, not just the Hillary campaign, but as you said earlier, Hillary herself, Hillary who has been touring the world. She's been at obscure little literary festivals on the Welsh border just a week or two ago, <laughs> complaining that the complaining that the Russians colluded with Trump to steal the election away with her, and she's colluding with the Russians uh, to issue this dossier against Trump. Colluding with the Russians and apparently with the peripheral involvement of Paul Manafort, who Democrats have been telling us for the last year is this sinister figure with Russia ties. You know, maybe so. Sounds like it. But he was working with the yeah. Podesta Group, which is the single That's most right. powerful Democratic lobbying firm in the city, of course, right. founded by Hillary's campaign chairman. I mean, you couldn't make it up. No. And, you know, just just the, 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 suddenly a lot of things seem clearer. Uh, you, you talked about the FBI, which is supposed to be a, uh, a policing agency uh, that operates in the interests of the American people. As you say, it's very odd that uh, a, an agency with almost uh, unlimited resources compared to any right. equivalent anywhere on the planet is having to outsource uh, a lot of this stuff and actually uh, pay, use the taxpayers' money uh, to pay this uh, British subject uh, for, for, this, uh, for this wacky report. But the, to me, one of the most disturbing things about this is you'll recall that uh, the director of national intelligence, Clapper, yes. uh, asked James Comey, supposedly, to go and have a meeting with Trump and tell uh, Trump that they've got a dossier explaining how he likes to enjoy uh, highly specialized prostitution services in Eastern Europe, and they've got this dossier. And then the minute uh, they've held the meeting, it mysteriously uh, gets, the, the news of this meeting gets leaked to the press. And I think it's a reasonable inference uh, that Clapper only, and Comey only actually arranged this, this meeting with Trump to tell him of the specialized prostitution <coughs> services this dossier contains about him. This meet, it's a reasonable inference that this meeting took place only so that news of it could then be leaked to the press. That's actually extremely deeply disturbing yes. uh, for, for the intelligence community and the FBI. And I would, by the way, I agree with you vehemently, and if they were doing this to <coughs> President Obama, I would, who I did not like, I would say the same mm. thing. You can't have yeah. rogue agencies. It's terrifying. Mark, thank you for that perspective. No. Thanks a lot, Tucker.